when they see the food, they'll have the appetite to eat. And they, they are more curious and trying it. When after they try, definitely they will come back again. Hi, I'm Mr. Iqbal, the owner of Ahjikade Food Chains. I'm the second generation. My father, Mr. Abdul Kadir, who is the founder of this Suk Tulang. The story of this Suk Tulang is from the early 1950s, when my father had a pushcart stall along the Jalan Sultan stretch. My father used to take from the market and boil to make the mee kwa, the soup. While he serving this mee kwa, he thought these bones is a waste of throwing, so he will put one bones in the mee kwa bowl and serve the customers. This was told by my father. One day, a taxi driver asked my father, Kade, I want the tulang, I don't want the mee kwa. You put more tulang and make same like mee kwa with the soup and serve me, la. I'll pay you extra. So the next day, he brought over his friends. While he was eating on the table, other customers were so curious, what are they eating? And asked my father for the same dish. So that's how the tulang spreads. I thought to myself, maybe my father worked so hard, but I can modernize it said uh, I can function it uh, something better so because I've learned something from from the outside world so that's make me more confident in taking over the business from my father our dishes because of the sambal it makes difference from others my motto is the quality and the taste must not run away sure the process is uh, you get the raw bones from the market then we wash it after that we boil it in a uh, pot with uh, our own recipe. Then we boil it for about half an hour. Then uh, we simmer it for about another half an hour. So it depends on the bones. If a lamb, it needs to be cooked lesser. If it's a sheep bone, you have to cook a bit more, more timing will take. So after boiling it, when the meat is tender already, so we will drain off the soup, the fats, because after boiling it, the fats will come up. So we will drain off the fats and then with the soup stock, we will, uh, we will add in the chilli, the tomato sauce, the, all the ingredients. So we will cook again, so it becomes a soup tulang. Retire? Uh, no, no, no retirement plans. Because I've got my son, he's studying in poly. Uh, he's my hope of taking this business over. Uh, so I'll be parting, pa passing this torch to him. He's more motivated to take over the business also. He's being more educated and I hope he can take over to another level. We always strive our best to serve the customer as what I myself wants to eat. That's the most important thing. I serve my customers which I love to eat. I am very grateful for my customers. Uh, they have been very supportive all the while, all these years. They are all my loyal customers. I've seen uh, from my younger days until now, they are also old. When they uh, patronize my stall at Beach Road, they are small, small young boys with their father accompanying them. Now I see them all grown up, have uh, their children and grandchildren also. You know, they are always very loyal and supportive because we always give them the best. Hopefully, they will support us all along. It is our try, our uh, initiative. The reward is God's gift. It's important. It's no, no, nothing can be achieved without God's gift.